Dallas is closed. Do not move here. I'm kidding, guys. First off, I'm a real estate agent, so please relocate here. Please move here. <laughs> but I will say this. I'm going to go through like four things that I have considered why I might want to move one day. As much as I love Dallas and I'm a native of Dallas. Wait, let me actually. <laughs> Hi, guys. I am Kira Ford, your real estate cheerleader, a.k.a. your favorite Dallas realtor where I help you confidently invest in yourself through real estate. And so today we're gonna to talk about my top four reasons why so many people are leaving Dallas or Texas or considering leaving Dallas. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I get from clients who are relocating to Dallas or wanting to move from Dallas is the weather, the heat. Guys, baby, this heat, last year we had 38 days, did you hear me? 38 days of over 100 degrees in the summer. Where they do that at, okay? So um, the heat can really uh, affect some people. Also, I mean, the weather is just kind of bipolar. If you've watched my other videos, you have heard me say that. Texas weather is just bipolar. Sometimes we have like tornadoes about to come, then we got a winter storm, and then before we know it, we're outside baking like, not even baking, grilling because this heat be grilling us, okay? So, so many people that I know of that are considering moving from Dallas is because of the weather. They want something that's a little bit more uh, Californian vibes where it's like 75 degrees and it feels so great. But I will say, even though the heat sucks, affordability is a little bit better than the other areas that people would desire to move because it's just more affordable. You make a little bit more here and the standard of living is just not as expensive as it is in New York and California and um, San Diego thing. That's honestly our top three places that people are moving from New York, Chicago and LA, um, which keep coming here. I'd be more than happy to tell you, show you all the walkable um, areas, which next week tune in. I will be talking about all the neighborhoods that are walkable. Um, I guess I shouldn't point there because I'll be doing it next week, but um, I'll be doing that video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you are notified when I do any videos. I also do a live once a week. <clears throat> that, that live is just to give you an update on the market. Real estate is very volatile and it's just always changing, but you didn't come here just for real estate information. You came here for like why people are deciding to move or considering moving because we're oversaturated here. 300 people move here a day, guys. I mean, that is a lot of people. Also, if you're one of those people who are moving here, would love to work with you, um, help you either find an apartment, rental, or actually help you buy, sell, um, all the things. That's my little plug I have to, you know, put in. But the biggest reason is weather. So many people just don't, they, they feel like the heat is a little, it's a little much. Um, so just make sure you're very mindful of that if you decide that you wanna move here. And then the second thing that I get all the time is landscaping. And when I say landscaping, like when you're driving, Dallas is very flat. We don't have any mountains. We don't have anything like when I went to Vegas, I love that you see all the mountains. When I go to Seattle, I love to hike all the mountains. We don't really have that. We have trails, okay? Um, and our hiking is our trails. And I, first off, me and Jake, which if you are new here, Jake is my dog, AKA my son. And we love to go walk trails. And it definitely gives you that outdoor vibes of like um, activities. But if you are wanting more like, you know, what is it, canoeing and things to that extent, and you want to still move to Texas, I would say go to Austin because that's a little bit more outdoorsy activities than it is in Dallas. Also, when you're driving into the city or into the suburbs, you just don't have that much stuff to look at. I mean, buildings are kind of on top of each other. You, it's just flat. So I do hear people say, oh my gosh, I don't know. I just want there to be a better scenery uh, when I'm driving or wanting to do more outdoor activities. And then the third thing I would say, which I've said this in multiple videos, but it's the truth, it's traffic. But that's because 300 people, guys, are moving here a day. Like, traffic is ridiculous. Like, I'm so grateful that I get to create my own schedule, um, AKA, I go off of my client schedules and we do our best to kind of go around traffic times but traffic is like busting out of its seams like i'm not joking like 
And we're, we're doing our best to build more and more highways to be able to hold all the people who are flocking here. That's why I said Dallas is closed, don't move here. Now, I do think that Dallas brings so many great opportunities, um, affordability and, uh, to a certain extent. I think community is great. I think Dallas is so diverse that you can find something for you. And the last thing, this is probably the main reason why I've considered moving is the dating scene. Okay, so I will say like, if you've been watching like social media, like when I say social media, Instagram and TikTok, and you see like all the run up, like the run clubs and all the like places to go to meet other men and other women. I do think that there is a lot of communities to go meet a lot of people, but I don't know what it is. I feel like our generation, it's a little different for us to date. Um, it's almost like the men are becoming women and the women are becoming men. It's like, honey, I have old school morals when it comes to dating. Like if you like what you see, hello. If you like what you see, you need to come up and talk to me. I like a man who is a leader, someone who is bold, someone who has courage, someone who's got fearing. And I do think that I find a lot of guys like that. And don't get me wrong. I will say that dating is ghetto, but when I say ghetto, I'm just being facetious and joking around because I have great experiences when it comes to dating. I just haven't liked anyone, which is, I don't know, it might be a me thing versus a them thing, but the dating scene is just different. But I hear this from all the realtors that I contact throughout the whole entire world because I send referrals everywhere. And they tell me the same thing, that dating is just different in this generation. So I don't necessarily know if it's just to Dallas, but it feels like it. I mean, there are, I feel like the black community, and I'm just gonna speak to the black community for a second. The black community, when it comes to dating, is very small. Like the pool is very small. And I also don't date men who have kids as of right now, you know? Um, but you know, God is very funny. He might send me a man that's like, has kids, but who knows? I'm not gonna speak that into existence. <laughs> God knows my heart, he knows the desires of my heart, and he will give me just that. But I just think that dating is different. Like women, we like to go out to eat. That's like our going out. And um, I just think that there are certain areas that you can find some quality men. It's just, it's just, it just feels like four to one. Four women to one man, which is crazy. So that's the last thing that I would say why Dallas is closed. Well, it's actually open. We need more transplants who have better morals and values that we can like expand the dating pool. But Dallas is closed because we have too many people moving here and it is busting out of its seams. So if you have thought about moving to Dallas or have just been curious, schedule a strategy session. I would love to hear your story. What what exactly is you know drawing you towards Dallas? And I would love to see if I can help you, you know, make that that smooth move. And if that it depends on if it's in nine days or nine years, I would love to just chat because honestly, life's all about creating relationships. And I would love to create a relationship with you if that's what it's supposed to be. Dating relationships, we're gonna have to keep giving, we're gonna have to keep working with, but um yeah, I feel like that's why Dallas is closed. It's open for the men that need to come in, but it's closed for so many people moving here. The heat, because so many people want to move because of the heat. And honestly, traffic. I'm just tired of like being in traffic in the little times that I am in traffic. Like, ugh. But anyways, make sure you tune in next week. We're going to talk about the walkable neighborhoods that people are flocking to. And when I say flocking to, that's my LA peeps. That's my New York people. So when they are deciding to move down here, they are going to these areas because they're so walkable. They might not have a car. They might not have, you know, transportation. So these areas are like spot on where there's young professionals making great money and you can go to work and then walk or stumble, whichever you like to do, to the nearest retail place to eat or restaurants and all the things. Until next time. Peace!